What gold size should you be buying? What makes more sense for your stack? Let's get to the video. Hey guys, Patriarch Stacker here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to talk about which gold size should you be buying and which gold size makes more sense for your stack. Now, as you can see here, we're going to go with our common gold sizes, the most bought and sold gold sizes. You have your one tenth of an ounce. You have your one quarter of an ounce. You have your half ounce. Focus. And you have your one ounce. Now, out of the four common sizes here, these, your one tenth, your quarter ounce, and your half ounce are considered fractional. Anything less than one ounce of gold is considered fractional. Now there is a lot of pros and a lot of con and con some cons with fractional, and uh, we're going to go over that in this video right now. Um, some pros is that it fits better with a lot of people's budgets. You know what I mean? Because you know a one ounce gold coin, you know, ranges from eighteen to two thousand bucks. So you know a lot of people don't have that to drop down, drop on a piece of gold. So that's where the fractional comes in handy. You know, it's cheaper. You know, your one tenth of an ounce averages around two, two fifty. Your one, your quarter of an ounce, one fourth of an ounce, averages around five to six. You know, and I'm just going by a mixture of prices from online uh, retailers and LCSs. You know, your Eagles are going for six, six twenty-five. And then you have your Philharmonics that are going for 500 bucks. So, and then you have your half ounce, which is around nine to 1100 bucks, depending on the coin, obviously. So, it tends to be better for people's budgets, most people's budgets. Another pro is that. It's easier to barter with, especially, you know, in a situation where our dollar fails and we're going through terrible times. You know, it's easier to barter a one-tenth of an ounce than it is one ounce. And... Yeah, those are a few things that are that make fractional gold a great buy. But the con with fractional gold is that you're paying a higher premium versus if you were to buy a one ounce gold coin. Now, the lower the gold weight is, the more expensive it is that premium your one tenth would be the most expensive and then it would be your quarter ounce and then it would be your half ounce and then your one ounce and if you guys are wondering why they're all maple leaves besides the half ounce it's because I do not own any half ounce maple leaves I do want to get one just to finish up the 2022 series of maple leaves but um i haven't got around to it i've been too busy buying ounces of gold rather than fractional but yeah you guys are curious <laughs> but um now with your one ounce gold coin you have your pros and you also have some cons and your pros with this is that you're saving when buying 
in bulk or buying in quantity. And when you're buying a one ounce gold coin, the premium is not going to be as high. It's better for your stack. And also, there's a uh, they're just um, easier to sell, you know, when you go into your LCSs, you know, some LCSs don't even take uh, little coins. You know, I've been to a few that wouldn't buy any one tenth of an ounce gold coins. They would only take half ounces or ounces. Now, I'm not gonna mention the names of the LCS that that was, but um, it's definitely weird. But, um, but your con, with these is that a lot of people can't afford them. You know, you need to free up $2,000 practically to pur purchase one of these. And a lot of people just don't have the funds. So that's where the fractional comes into. But when it comes down to being a stacker, you know, like I am, like most of you are watching this video, I'm sure. You want to get the most gold or silver. And you don't want to pay high premiums. You want to get it as cheap as you can. And your best bet, even though this being $2,000, almost $2,000, you're still saving versus buying an ounce over time of one tenth of an ounce or an ounce over time of a quarter ounce or an ounce over time of a half ounce. So your best bet for your stack is buying one ounces. The one ounces are the king. And fun fact, for the year of 2021, the most sold gold coins were one ounces, and the second most sold gold coins were the one tenth of an ounce. I think the half ounce was third place, and the quarter ounce was last place, or it could have been the quarter ounce ahead of the half ounce. I have to look, look, uh, look up, look it up again. But um, your best bet when it comes to stacking gold is going for your one ounces. Now again, some of us stack to prep. Some of us stack to prep. Some of us stack to for insurance, some of us stack to preserve our wealth, you know, some of us stack for, you know, different reasons. Now, for prepper stackers, maybe your one ounce gold coin isn't your best bet. Maybe your one tenth of an ounce is your best bet. Because again, if we come into a situation where the shit hits the fan and we have our dollars failed and we have to go into a bartering system, you're not gonna just take one of these and chip it off into pieces and weigh it every time. You know, it's easier to trade with the one tenth. Now, if you're a stacker to preserve your wealth and to save, your best bet is one uh, a one ounce one ounces so it's different you know it's uh just uh depends on how how you stack and why you stack and the reason of stacking and another big factor is the price if you know as long as you're buying gold and silver you know it doesn't matter, in my opinion. As long as you're in it and you're buying some of it and you're preserving your wealth and saving, you know, that's the bottom line. But at the, uh... So buying gold 
and silver is better than not buying gold and silver. So, you know, some people can only afford one gram bars or one tenth ounce coins and stuff. But I stack for the reasons to preserve my wealth. I stack for insurance reasons. I stack for savings. I stack for a long-term investment. And I stack for prepping reasons. Prepping reasons, so I stack it all. I love my fractional and I love my one ounces. But to me, the end of the day is how can I get the most gold for the best price? And what makes more sense to me and I buy more of are one ounces. So that's it, guys. Let me know what gold coins do you buy more? What size is it that you're buying? Is it the one-tenth, the one-fourth, the half, or the ounce? Comment down below. And also, guys, please like the video, comment. I love reading your guys' comments. And subscribe. There's uh, some of you guys out there that are watching my videos, about half of you, that aren't subscribed to my channel. So, you know, it'd be great if you can uh, sub to my channel. And I promise, I won't let you down. Also, please go check out Savage Stacker. He made it to 2,000 subs yesterday. We gotta throw him a little party. But go check him out, sub to his channel, like his videos, comment. Um, check out Silverstruck, check out Polybuck. There's so many great guys out there. There really is. So many great guys. Oh, and I got a little... I bought a little uh, <clears throat> something on a line the other day. And uh, 1982 Mexican Libertad. First year of the Libertads, 1982. I uh, picked this up off a of Facebook group <clears throat> the other day from, uh, I got it for a great, great steal. There's an auction uh, going on and I picked it up for like a great price for being a first year Libertad. Um, I paid 40 bucks for this, which is unheard of. <laughs> Gotta get a capsule for it. Anyways, guys, comment down below. Let me know what makes more sense for you when it comes to stacking gold. And what size do you like better? We all know I'm the one ounce guy. I love my one ounces. But fractional is also great too. Anyways, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Patriotic is out.